Ever found yourself anxiously waiting for the next paycheck just to realize you're already out of cash? You're counting down the days, rationing out your last few dollars, and praying that no unexpected expenses pop up. Sound familiar? Well, you're not alone. Many of us are stuck in this paycheck-to-paycheck -paycheck cycle, feeling like a hamster on a wheel that's spinning faster and faster. But here's the good news. Breaking free from this cycle is not an impossible task. It's all about understanding one magic word, budgeting. Now don't roll your eyes just yet. I know, I know. Budgeting sounds like something only accountants and finance nerds would enjoy. But trust me, it's not as complicated as it seems. You might be thinking, but I don't have the fancy tools or software for budgeting. Well, let me burst that bubble for you. This isn't about having the latest gadgets or software. Effective budgeting starts with understanding your finances and guess what? You don't need expensive tools for that. So, what's the deal with budgeting? It's basically a roadmap for your money. It's about knowing where your money comes from and where it goes. It's about taking control of your financial life and steering it in the direction you want. And the best part? You can start budgeting with low or even no investment at all. That's right, you don't need to rob a bank to start your budgeting journey. You just need a little bit of time, patience, and willingness to learn. Today we're going to talk about how to budget for beginners with low investment. We'll debunk some budgeting myths, introduce you to some easy and free tools, and guide you through the process of creating your first budget. So buckle up folks, we're about to embark on a journey that will transform your financial life. And guess what? You're the one in the driver's seat. You're not alone. But guess what? It doesn't have to be this way. So what's the secret weapon to break free from this cycle? One word, budgeting. Now before you roll your eyes and think of budgeting as a chore, let's explore the magic it can bring into your life. First off, budgeting gives you control. Yes, you heard it right. It's like having the remote control to your financial TV. You get to decide where your hard-earned money goes. You're no longer at the mercy of impulsive buys or unexpected expenses. Next, budgeting helps you achieve your financial goals. Dreaming of that beach vacation, or maybe buying your first home. With a budget, you're not just dreaming, you're planning. Every dollar you save is a step closer to your goal. Also, budgeting reduces stress. No more sleepless nights worrying about bills or debts. When you budget, you know exactly how much you have and where it's going. Like having a roadmap to financial peace. But don't just take my word for it. Research shows that people who budget have better financial well-being. They're less likely to fall into debt and more likely to save. Remember, budgeting is a journey, not a destination. So, expect to make adjustments along the way. It's not about perfection but about making better financial decisions one budget at a time. And the best part, you can start today. So, are you ready to take control of your finances? If you're finding this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more financial tips. Now let's dive into the nitty gritty. How do you actually start budgeting? Great question. It's not about buying fancy software or hiring a financial advisor. The key is to start simple and work with what you've got. Imagine a toolbox. You're not going to fill it with diamond-encrusted wrenches and gold-plated hammers, right? You'll start with the basics, the essentials. Similarly, your budgeting toolbox should have a few simple yet effective tools. First up, spreadsheets. It's like the Swiss Army knife of budgeting. You can find free templates online or if you're feeling creative, make one on your own. You can track your income, expenses, and even create graphs to visualize your spending. And the best part? It doesn't cost a dime. Next, we have budgeting apps. These are like your personal financial assistants, helping you track your expenses, categorize them, and even alert you when you're about to go overboard. Many of these apps have free versions with basic features which are more than enough for beginners. Don't forget about government resources. Many government websites offer free budgeting templates and resources. They're like the sturdy, reliable screwdriver in your toolbox. They might not be flashy, but they get the job done. Now let's talk about a classic budgeting technique, the 50-30-20 rule. Picture your income as a pie. According to this rule, you slice it into three parts. 50% goes to your needs like housing and groceries, 30% to your wants like dining out or a new pair of shoes, and the remaining 20% to savings or debt repayment. It's a simple yet effective way to allocate your income. However, remember this isn't a one-size-fits-all solution. Your budget should be as unique as you are. Maybe your needs take up more than 50% of your income. That's okay. Adjust the percentages to fit your lifestyle and income. The important thing is to have a plan and stick to it. In the end, the best budgeting tool is the one that works for you. It might be a simple spreadsheet, a fancy app, or a combination of both. 
It's like picking out the perfect outfit. You mix and match until you find what fits you best. Find what works for you and tailor it to suit your needs. Remember, budgeting isn't about restriction. It's about understanding and controlling your finances. So get out there and start budgeting because every financial journey starts with a single spreadsheet or app or government resource. You get the point. Ready to get your hands dirty and craft your budget? Let's get to it. First things first, you need to get a handle on your income. That's every single penny you're bringing in, whether it's from your 9 to 5 gig, your weekend side hustle, or that sweet birthday check from grandma. List it all out, because every dollar counts when it comes to budgeting. Next up, you need to track your expenses. Now I know this part can feel a bit like going down a rabbit hole, but trust me, it's worth it. You'll want to categorize your expenses into two types, fixed and variable. Fixed expenses are the ones that stay the same month after month, like rent and utilities. Variable expenses, on the other hand, change from month to month. Think groceries, entertainment, those spontaneous online shopping sprees. Now, here's a pro tip. Track your expenses for at least a month before you dive into creating a spending plan. Why, you ask? Well, it gives you a clear picture of your spending habits. It's like holding up a mirror to your money, and sometimes, the reflection can be quite surprising. All right, now that you have your income and expenses laid out, it's time to create a spending plan. This is where you get to play money maestro, orchestrating where each dollar goes. Prioritize your needs first, that's your housing, groceries, essential bills. Then, with the remaining funds, allocate for your wants and savings or debt repayment. Remember the golden rule, 50% for needs, 30% for wants, and 20% for savings and debt repayment. Now, I can hear some of you thinking, but what if my income doesn't quite stretch that far? And that's okay. The beauty of a budget is its flexibility. You can adjust the percentages to what works for you. The key here is to make sure you're covering your needs, paying down debt, and stashing away some savings no matter how small. Remember, your budget is a living document. It's okay to make changes as you go. It's like a roadmap for your money, guiding you towards your financial goals. And just like any good road trip, there might be detours and roadblocks along the way, but that's all part of the journey, so keep your eyes on the road and your hands on the wheel. With a little planning and a dash of determination, you're well on your way to becoming a budgeting boss. Let's roll up our sleeves and get to work. Got your budget? Great. But how do you make it work? Now, that's the million dollar question, or depending on your budget, perhaps the thousand dollar question. But don't fret, we've got some tips to make your budget work for you. First up, review your budget regularly. Yes, like that gym membership you promised to use, your budget also needs a regular check-in. Things change. Your income might increase, fingers crossed. Expenses might fluctuate, hopefully downwards. So you'll want to adjust your budget accordingly. Next, set realistic and achievable goals. If you're earning $500 a month, don't set a savings goal of $1,000. Unless you've found a way to double your money instantly, in which case, please share your secret. But, in all seriousness, achievable goals will keep you motivated and prevent you from giving up. And speaking of motivation, celebrate those milestones. Did you stick to your budget this month? Have a little victory dance? Did you save an extra 50 bucks? Treat yourself to a little something? Remember, budgeting isn't about depriving yourself, it's about making your money work for you. And finally, don't stop learning. There are loads of free financial literacy resources out there, so take advantage and keep educating yourself. Remember, small wins can lead to big improvements in your financial health. So keep at it, and before you know it, you'll be the master of your finances. Now isn't that a lovely thought? So, we've taken a whirlwind tour of Budgeting 101. We've journeyed through the land of income and expenses, seen the sights of spending plans, and even stopped for a snack at the adjustment station. We've shown you that budgeting isn't some scary monster under your bed, but rather, it's more of a friendly guide, leading you down the path of financial stability and peace of mind. Remember the three key steps, tracking your income and expenses, creating a spending plan, and making necessary adjustments. Use the free tools and resources we've discussed to start your journey. Remember, this isn't a one-size-fits-all situation. The best budget is the one that works for you. Don't be afraid to make tweaks and changes along the way. And remember it's okay to celebrate small wins, there's steps in the right direction, anyone can take control of their finances. So go on, give it a shot, you've got this. Before you go, don't forget to hit like button if you found this video helpful. It not only motivates us to keep bringing you more such content, but it also helps others discover video. And if you want to explore more financial concepts with us, 
hit that subscribe button and join our growing community. Let's conquer the world of finance together.